hello my dear students welcome to my channel learning hub so today we are going to move ahead with idea of algorithm efficiency so agenda of this video is i'll discuss best case average case and worst case complexity then few example one example sorry two examples of average case best case and worst case will be discussed then i'll take some questions of finding complexity so the very first topic is best case average case and worst worst case complexity so when we are when we are writing the program so worst case is a case in which we have to take maximum number of steps for example if we are if we are using any loop so if in the loop i have given a condition so worst case means it will take it has to um, execute all the iteration of the loop till the condition is true best case is in the first in the first iteration itself that condition is true then it has it will not have to execute the next iteration average case is average number of iterations it have to take so the worst case complexity of any algorithm is a function defined by the maximum number of steps taken on an instance of size n means basically the more number less time is needed in best case more time is needed in worst case so best case is where minimum steps is taken it means it will be executed fast average case means so average case means average number of steps are taken so the example suppose the first example is linear search on the list 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 nine. so linear search is a program which i have already discussed in my list so in this case suppose i want to search for the item 1 so this will be the best case obviously suppose in the first iteration in linear search what we do we compare each and every element of the list with the element we want to search so the best case will be so in first iteration itself i get the number which i want to search so it will return the index the average case will be after few iterations i get the number and worst case will be the last element to be found so best case in this case will be 1 or even if we are using uh, reverse loop so 9 will be best case the average case will be 5 and the worst case will be 9 if we are using uh, positive loop and if we are using negative means the reverse loop in that case the worst will be 1 searching for 1 so the second example is the same list we are using binary search in binary search we divide the list uh, by we just find the middle element and compare the element to be searched so in this case suppose i want to search for 5 so this 5 is the first element to be found so that will be best case and suppose i want to search for 2 so it will again divide divide uh, means if suppose i want to search for 2 it will search in this half of the list then this half of the list so this is average case and worst case will be if we want to search 1 or if we want to search for 9 that will be the worst case so the best case will be searching 1 that will be the first element the average case will be 2 or 9 or 7 or 3 and the worst case will be 1 or even 9 so usually when we are uh, when when we are attempting questions so worst case complexity is asked or best case can be asked but usually we work on worst case com complexity we avoid average case complexity because it is difficult to find average case complexity because average case suppose we are talking about the same example average can be average case can be finding 2 finding 3 finding 4 finding 6 finding 7 finding 8 so it will be difficult for us to find average case complexity that is why we usually avoid so the uh, the you can see the graph best case means the less time is needed in best case complexity you can see the time limit is less average case means more time is needed that than best case for same number of in for same input size you can see that size input size is same worst case means the maximum time is needed so the first example determine the complexity of program that searches for a element using linear search so this is the program which i have already discussed in my previous video 
so we will concentrate on complexity the very first command to take input suppose it takes uh, constant time c1 this second statement constant time c2 third statement constant time c3 now it will come to loop loop 0 to length of l suppose this length is number of element let us consider it as n n is the length of list now in this there are three statements first this suppose this takes constant time c4 then next constant time c5 then constant time c6 so this these four element these three um, statements will take multiplied the time multiplied by n that is the length of the list and then for finally the last index uh, last statement it will take constant time c7 so in all the time will be c1 plus c2 plus c3 plus n into c4 plus c5 plus c6 and plus c7 so you can see i have already told you about big O notation the dominant term is n that and we will ignore the constant terms so notation will be o n so now the second example find the complexity for binary search now this is an important concept so this is the program i am not going to concentrate on the pro uh, the program suppose the first first uh, it will take input from the user suppose the list is given here so input from the user second element uh, second statement constant time c2 third fourth now when it is comparing it will take constant time then c now in this case as the binary search divides the list by half so its complexity is always log n to the base 2 because it depends as i already told you it depends what kind of input we are giving to search if we are giving suppose the input which is the first element to be searched to be matched then it is the best case and it is worst case if it is the first element or the last element which is to be searched so its its complexity is always log n this i will discuss how it will become log n so in this case suppose all the statements take constant time so finally when we were calculating it so whatever is there in the loop so i'll show you whatever is there in the loop this one it will take the the notation log n you can see here see it will be multiplied by log n to the base 2 these are the statements these this is the constant time that will be needed so next thing is so finally the because this is the dominant term so the complexity will be o log n to the base 2 now the next thing is how we are how complexity of binary search is log n to the base 2 see when we are um, if suppose the iteration of binary search terminates after k iteration we don't know how many times it has to iterate it depends on the input so sub at each iteration the array is divided by half every time we are searching we are dividing the list by half so let's say the length of iteration is any iteration is array at any iteration is n suppose consider the length of array is n let us consider that terminate uh, the search terminates after three iterations so how many time it will divide by two three times so in first iteration length of array is n second iteration length of array will be n by 2 and third iteration length of array will be n by 2 by 2 first iteration sorry it will be n by 2 huh. and second iteration uh, divided by 2 and third iteration n by 2 by 2 that is n upon 2 to the power 2 suppose there are k iterations suppose it will become k so it will be 2 n upon 2 raised to the power k so in this way it will keep on dividing um, uh, converting the array into half and uh, the iterations will be calculated and 
logically where after all the iterations the length of array become one length of array how it will become one because when it will search for the last element it suppose worst case we are talking about the worst case the element is the first element or the last element which we want to search so obviously till we reach that particular element the length will become n so obviously we can say that n upon 2 raised to the power k becomes 1 we can just uh, equate them and you, then finally we will get the equation n is equal to 2 raised to the power k this will get we will get now we will apply log both the side applying log you can see here i have applied log so log base uh, log n to the base 2 is equal to you can see you must be knowing formula x raised to the power m becomes m log to the base 2 2 to the base 2 this is the this we will get and finally this will become 1 so so k is equal to finally number of iterations which we will need it is log n to the base 2 in this that is why the complexity is log n to the base 2 the next example is the determine the worst case complexity of this program see in this case again you can see here the, this how many times this loop will execute 0 to n that is n times so if it takes constant time c1 and it takes constant time c2 the overall time needed will be n into c1 plus c2 similarly suppose this will take const, uh, number of iteration will be m so suppose next statement takes constant time c3 then c4 so it will take the time will be m into c3 plus c4 so ignoring the constant so dominant term will be obviously n plus n so the last program of this video is find algorithmic efficiency runtime efficiency of this you can see this so in this program there is a twist that there we have used a function calc in which the efficiency is already given n square so uh, suppose the, prog the C program will start from here suppose this will take uh, iterate n times that is depending upon the input so i is equal to 1 take constant time c1 this comparison takes c2 and whatever is there inside this while loop it will take the time n because it will execute from i is equal to 1 to i is equal to n so it will take n time then next uh, statement j is equal to 1 it will take constant time this all constant time will be multiplied by n inside this there is one more while loop and whatever is there in this while loop it will be multiplied by again n because it is compared by n j is equal to 1 j is less than equal to 1 n so whatever the value is of n is depending on that number of iterations will be executed so basically this all will be multiplied this n will be multiplied by this n so finally we can see that this comparison time takes suppose c4 Ex uh, after that this calc will take n square time j is equal to j minus 1 will take suppose c5 and then i is equal to i plus 1 c6 so finally we will get this one see in this you can see here c1 plus uh, c1 plus n into because this is in this while loop n into then again from here c2 plus c3 comparison plus j is equal to 1 for c3 then n into because from here the second while loop start this while loop start n into c4 plus n square that is calc which is already given and c5 that is j is equal to j plus 1 this closes after this we have this while loop outside this so c6 into n finally when we are going to open it the dominant term will be o4 so finally our complexity will be o4 so my dear children if you like this video please like and subscribe don't forget to share i hope you understood all the things please uh, like and subscribe have a nice day Thank you.